everyone. <clears throat> I hope this thing is recording. I just wanted to let you know that the ink dried and I just started removing some of the mask areas where the masking fluid is. <clears throat> Those little bits left behind. But basically what I do is like here's an area where you can tell there was some masking fluid. I just take my finger and I rub like this and it starts to remove the masking fluid wherever it is. Maybe that wasn't a space. Let me see. Right here. Ah, there's a spot where there's some masking fluid. And when I'm ru rubbing it, see it starts going away and it leaves a blank spot. So I keep doing that here and there. And, and that rubber stuff starts coming off and it exposes the white that's underneath. And that's kind of cool. Part of it over here is still wet, so I can't really touch that. Let's see if there's one. See, so here's some area here I think that has some masking fluid. Yep, that's it. So once I start rubbing that away, it exposes the white underneath, and you're left with all that beautiful color. What I do is I have a <clears throat> I have this uh, cotton ball, and I just wipe the white area to get the excess uh, alcohol off. Or I'll use a napkin sometimes, a dry napkin, just to get the excess alcohol. And it's leaving a little more white now. But anyway, that's the process I'm going through right now. This is what I've got so far. And it's kind of a abstract on this guitar. I don't know if you can see that, but it's dark. It's evening now. So I'll just keep rubbing away and trying to remove the... There's some more right there. <laughs> it's leaving some... There it goes. So as I rub this, it exposes the white underneath. Now I could take a brush of of dye and also brush it in if I want to also add some color back in there. So that's another possibility. Anyway, I'll just keep working on this and thank you for watching. When I have this completed custom guitar done, I will post it online. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.